Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial. I haven't done these very often. Well, I won't be doing them very often. But um, today is how to make a forge server for Minecraft 1.7.10. So first thing you want to do is you want to have Forge, you want to have Log Me and Hamachi, and you want to have the mod you want to install. Um, I've got Pixmon here, um, that's the one I'm just going to be doing. It'll work with all mods, uh, but some mods don't need to be installed into the server, they just need to be, like, Raise Minimap doesn't, but bigger mods that affect the world will need to be. So um, first thing you want to do is download Forge. It'll be a little clip on how you can download Forge. So guys, downloading Forge is really easy. All you have to do is open your web browser and search up Forge. The first link that comes up will be the link that you can click to go to the Forge homepage. This here is the Forge homepage. You can scroll down and find the latest version of Forge for you. Click that. And after five seconds, you can click in skip add and it'll start the download. After that, make sure you save it onto your desktop. Make sure it's a jar file and you're done downloading Forge. Now we can get on with the tutorial on how to make a 1.7.10 Minecraft Forge server. So after you download Forge, you want to make sure you have Longbean Hamachi. That's really easy to get. All you got to do is go to your internet, search up Hamachi like that, or not like that, like this. <laughs> All right, get into that, and it'll bring you to the site. There you go, I've got unmanaged, you can download managed or unmanaged, I've got unmanaged. I don't think it really matters, but I'm sure if you read this, it'll tell you. So, that's all there is to downloading Lock Me and Hamachi. Then all you have to do is set it up, simply open it, run the setup, you know, do all that stuff. After that, it'll be like this, but just turn it on, and it might take longer for the first time, but it'll come up with create or join in a network. Um... Make sure you create a network if you're making a, a server, like I'm telling you right now. So, network. So, put in your network ID, then put in a password, and then you're all done with that. Then, that's it. Get out of that, and you're all done with Logmean Hamachi. So, that's it for now. Let's get on with it. So, now that we've got Forge, we can open it up. And we've got Hamachi, of course, we can open it up. So I've just opened it up here. Um, now what you want to do is make sure you install the client, make a new folder, call it Forge Server, Minecraft Forge Server, anything just so it's a lot more organized. And after you name that, you can click Install Server. So just tick the box and then go to the three dots, then go onto your desktop and go into that folder and make sure you click Open. So I'll just do that now quickly. There we go, now click OK and wait for it to do the job. I'll get back to you in a minute when it's done. Okay guys, so everything just downloaded, it all came up. I clicked OK, so you want to click OK too. Now, here it is, Minecraft Forge Server, and it's got just this. So, what you want to do is you want to double click Forge. Universal. And it'll do a bunch of this, do a bunch of me this, and it'll come up with this, then it'll close. Now, the thing to stop it from closing is this E-U-L-A. Open that, or you can read that, and then type in true. Go file, save, cross it out, and now open Forge. Give it a minute just so it can load, and voila, there it is. So, now it's downloaded everything I need for the server. It's got all this stuff and what I can do now is after it takes a minute so just when this is done which is now there we go now we can type in stop you can cross out I don't think it really makes too much a difference but some people seem to think it does I don't know but really it doesn't make too much of a difference for me so what you want to do now 
you got to open Logme in Hamachi and right click copy IP4 address click that make sure I click that <laughs> uh, go into server make sure this is a notepad file you can't do it with anything else I think you can do it in notepad plus plus but I just found this easy so now you can set everything so allow nether true that means people will be able to go into the nether you can name the level so if it's a pixelmon server pixelmon easy as that um, allow flight true you know all this uh, unless you port forwarding I wouldn't recommend changing that um, actually don't change that don't mess with that um, unless you know what you're doing level seed if you have any seed a particular seed then do that and IP now the IP forager set you copied you can now click control V and it'll come up with 25.92.230.97 um, or whatever your IP is shh that's mine uh, spawn NPCs true whitelist false spawn animals true hardcore you know and it's got all this and then your uh, message of the day you can change this if you want to um, I'm changing it to Minecraft Pixelmon servers just so it's easier. That will come up later on if I don't forget to show you guys. Um, and that's it. So you can go file and save. There we go. Okay. So what you want to do now is you want to open. Oh, you want to do the mods. Almost forgot about that. You want to put copy that mod. So you, you want to copy and then paste it into there. You also want to go to your percent app data percent, and you can go to that by just going to your search, going percent app data percent. There you go, and go into dot Minecraft mods. Um, I've already got those two there. I've also got Raise Minimap just so I can show you that Raise Minimap doesn't need to be installed onto the server. And um, that's it for the mods. That's all good. All done. Now we can open up Minecraft Forge uh, and Minecraft at the same time. So here's Minecraft Forge in the background. I won't show you that just yet because that doesn't need to be dealt with. Nothing's there. It's all up and running the server is. Now I can click, click play. Um, I've made a little Forge profile there. I'll just show you that. All right. So now we'll just get into Minecraft. There we go. This always seems longer when I'm recording. Don't take forever, please, game. Anytime. You know, whenever you feel like it. Okay, 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 be like that. Alright, here we are. <laughs> okay, so we can go into multiplayer, and there it is working. That's my server. I've got an icon, um... I will, might do a tutorial on that, leave something in the comments if you want to know how to put an icon onto your server. Um, that's pretty much it with that. So it's got a tick for compatible modded server. Um, and that's it, we can join it. It's all good now. So you can, as you can see, it is working. And there you go, there's a Pixelmon mod. And uh, we just let that load in because the Pixelmon mod takes a minute. There we go. Okay, so you can choose your Pokemon. I'll just choose a random Pokemon, there you go, Charmander, and here we are. That's the 20 people that could be on the server, there's me there already on. Um, Raise minimap, I'll show you that works. Um, everything works, everything's good, um, I'll just put it in full screen for you guys. Um, and that's it, so it's very easy to do. Um, I found no tutorials on YouTube about it, which is kind of... Uh, well, I did find tutorials, but they all seemed really complicated. So I found this way, which was just really easy. So I just tried out, you know, tried, did something else until I got it right. This worked. So this is the way it's uh, going down. I'm not sure if there's any bugs. If there's anything, because I haven't found any bugs so far, but you never know. So if so, also this here is some extra footage because I didn't have enough to say my goodbyes to you guys. And for showing all the support of my story time that will be continuing. Um, yeah, so that will be continuing because I've got a lot of support from people saying they wanted to see more. They wanted another story. 
So, I'm thinking of another thing that's happened to me, but because a lot of stuff happened to me when I was a kid, because, of course, I was a little bit of a rascal. Um, yes. <laughs> so, story time will be continuing. I've got a few more series. I might do a Hunger Games, if you guys want me to do a Hunger Games, of course. Um, I'll play some other games if you guys want me to, so recommend other games down in the comments. That's always appreciated, and also show your support by subscribing or dropping a like. That's always good. Um, I've made a few... You can connect with me now through Twitter. I've got a Twitch in case I'm ever going to live stream, uh, Instagram, and everything else, so you can connect with me there, and that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to have to leave it there, so goodbye. And... Uh, Remember to subscribe because that really, really does mean a lot to me. So, goodbye. It's all I wanna do.